Good afternoon and welcome to Whitevale, Ontario, Canada. Another video from us at uh, places in Ontario, Canada. We were driving along, we, well, it's just me, uh, along Whitevale Road and came across an abandoned home. So I thought, well, I'm going to just pull over and film this and see what it looks like on all sides. Lots of trees and things that have fallen in the driveway. So I'm going to assume nobody lives here. Well, judging by some of the boarded up windows and things, but here's the foundation. Oh, there's a lock on that front door, so it must be for real estate agents if they're going to sell this for land and build a home I'm not sure but you can see even the side of the wood above the stone is I apologize for any noises in the background that sticks and leaves and things like that but I don't edit so I just leave everything in just like it happens so here's some of the wood that has rotted above this doorway here and you can see how old this is. And uh, oh, I won't ask what's oof, what's going on behind that window. But anyway, yeah, you can see the old studs and nails and things like that right here in the wood. So continuing filming, there is a little porchway in here so with some stones lots of leaves because it's the spring here and I'm going to assume kids or whatever have broken in and they've had to board up everything but um, I'm sure this was a beautiful home at one time And as you walk out of this little porchway, there's actually a little river, if you can see down in there, or pond, or stagnant water, I'm not sure. So I'm walking into the backyard, and some beautiful trees here, but, um, you know, it's pretty run down. And as I pan to the back here, somebody spray painted one of those windows, broke the other window. So in the backyard here, Pretty sure I don't have to guess that this is a septic tank. Because we're up in the country and there would definitely be no sewage system up in this area. There's a foundation over here. I'm sure that was probably at one time a patio of some type. Here's the old back side porch type thing. Should I risk going up on top of it? Yeah, let's let's risk it and see. So, oh, there's my shadow. Sorry about that. Well, I haven't fallen through yet. But what a beautiful home. All run down now. Looks like there was possibly a stone fireplace there at one time. Beautiful land here, though. If somebody buys this old home and tears it down and builds a new home, they're going to have a, a beautiful piece of property here for sure.
So we're further back on the property here, and this looks like it probably was, it had to have been, somewhere where they grew vegetables and things like that. Lots of weeds here I'm walking over. And I wanted to come back here in case people were collectors of old wheelbarrows. There you go. Just sitting out here in the open, flat tire of course. I can't make the name out on the side of it, but let's see if somebody wants to leave a message and let us know who makes that. It looks like Trust, gee, Trust Something USA, even though we're here in Ontario, Canada. And oh, there you go, True Temper, it says at the bottom. There you go. Is this is exciting to you as it is to me for filming. Here's an old drain pipe on the side of the house where that wooden porch was that I climbed up on. And looks like somebody sawed a bunch of wood and then just left it here. Great firewood for somebody. So that was the walk around the house here. And we're in the front right area. There was another entrance there. And back there in the center was where the wheelbarrow was. It's always interesting to see what people discard or leave on the property, such as the shelving unit. Okay, so that's the tour of the house and the property here as the sun breaks through the clouds here. And we hope to see you next time. And we just happen to notice this on the ground. Look up, look out. See you next time.